Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Android open source solution project for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without wasting more time, let's start. Starting from the home screen, we get the same old pixel to launcher and in the settings you can see uh, there is a custom as in tab, we get Owl's Nest, into about system, into about phone, we get this Android open source solution project logo and here is a build info and you can see Android 8.1.0 Oreo. And yes, it's for the Note 5 Pro, the dual camera variant, or the Note 5 AI, the Chinese variant. Then going back, we have the AOS IP updater also. So if you get any update, you will get it first here. And then also advanced settings, we also have the enabled camera to API for the Google camera. We get a beautiful wallpaper, which is a dark wallpaper, and we can see the owl's eyes, and it looks really great. If Redmi Note 5 Pro was AMOLED, it looks really, it should have looked really great. Then we get the normal ASP apps, also some of the Google apps are present, you can see. And let's move into the settings and into the display, we have the normal options, that have to display and all of the stuff. We also have the system theme option for the background color, so you can choose light, dark or black AIF and the accent color to a various uh, like choices available. We also have the ambient display and the ambient music ticker so yeah it works well and it's uh, the layout which is the default is minimal force talking about the customization it has a good amount of customization let's move into the owl's nest and there is something in like some other room wolf's den maybe in validus so yeah uh, create use of animal names so status per customization like normal good amount of customization is present this quick setting so you can do a lot of stuff here only one thing the notification navigation a lot of a lot like you can check it afterwards like if i keep explaining everything uh, then it will be a time consuming also we have gestures aosip gestures uh, jump to camera the normal one and we don't have the edge gestures so maybe in ex uh, we expect it in the future updates and we have this some advanced settings like wake clock blocker so it will block system wake clocks and you will get a better battery ROM also has VLD and has a lit logo for VLD which is V-O-L-I-T uh, let me zoom in properly so you can see a very little here it's bullet i'm just talking about the performance i have used this ROM for three days and while doing the installation and stuff the whole data is gone so sorry for not showing but i have played pubg and uh, not much of games only pubg and a normal game which i can't tell you it was such stupid game and also i have used for facebook instagram and just youtube and it gave me like 10 hours of screen on time so you can ex expect anywhere between 8 to 10 and performance is also good pubg played in medium was also nice i haven't tried high but you guys can try after installing and yes, uh, that's it for the video. Uh, this is the review of the AOSIP ROM for our Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, the dual cam variant. Also, the Google camera works really great, so you can install the latest and greatest. So, goodbye, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye.